Welcome to my channel guys, now don't forget to join my Discord, the link is on the screen right now and in the description below and also don't forget to come check out one of my two servers that I'm running which is Adder's Rusty Bullet Hole and Dark Ages. And now let's not waste any time, let's get straight into this tutorial. Hello, welcome everybody to my channel. Now if you found your way to this video, you obviously want to able to host your own Rust server so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that as quickly as possible. Right, let's get into it. So first off, what you want to do is click the link in my description down below, which will take you to rust.facepunch.com forward slash FAQ. And what you want to do is click this quick start zip here and download that. And then once that is downloaded, you want to open that file by and then unzip it using, I don't know, WinZip or WinRAR. I'll put a link down in the description below for um, WinRAR. So if you just go to the downloads page of WinRAR, you could click like, I don't know, English 64-bit, depending on your system. Um, that will get you on, so you install that. Okay, so once you've installed that, or if you already have um, a program that will unpack zip files then we can move on to the next step which would be locate where the download of the rust server file from face punch is which would be for me is in my download section then what i'll do is i'll move that into my main drive where i want to host the server so I'm, what i'm going to do is move this zip file into my c drive once that is in my C drive, I will unzip it. So um, the way I do that is right click, extract all, click OK, extract, and there we have it. I now have the Rust server file in my C drive. Okay, so what we can do now is we can go into this Rust server folder, and then we can go into the server folder, and then what we're looking for is a run underscore ds file. Now, what we need to do then is right click and click edit. And then what we can do now is we could change your server name and we could change the server seed. The server seed is what generates what a different map. So you can just put any number in there. So then you just get a random generated map. Um, but what I have done is um, I've got a file, which is a link in the description down below, which has got some more options for you in it so you can customize your server a little bit better so what we'll do is if you click the link for the run underscore ds file which is in the description below download that and then copy that into this server folder and then replace the current one that's in there which i've just done and then what you want to do is right click edit the new run DS file and then as you can see now this line is a lot longer because we've got some more options so if I quickly run through them for you just so you know what you're doing um, the first one is server max players um, it's currently set at 50 which means it is a 50 pop server you can change that depending on your spec and your internet upload and all different types of aspects that's up to you if it's just gonna be you running around on your own building stuff then that's fine just leave it at 50 same with world size, you can make it bigger, smaller, um, just play around with that. I mean, like I said, if you're building, just leave it as it is. Um, next up, we got server host name. So all you want to do is delete what I've put your server name and put your own name in there. Same with the server description. Oh, why does it keep doing that? Server description, put your own server description in there. Same with server URL, you could put a link to your own website on there if you have one. If not, you could delete the whole line. Oh, sorry, uh, delete that whole line like so. And then, boom, then you don't even have it. Right, also you've got server header image. So if you made like a banner or um, like a header image for your server, you could upload it to like um, photo bucket or imager and then get the link and paste that in there and then when people click on your server there'll be a little picture to sh try and make your server stand out a little bit better server port we leave the same and then procedural map is the most popular one that people tend to use but there are other maps i believe like happy silent and things like that so you could do that if you wanted Back to server seed, you put a random number in there 
and then we are good to go. Obviously, file, save before you close, but I'm not going to do that. Then what we can do after that is run the file. So double click, run the file. It will take a while and you might get a couple of pop-ups. If you get any pop-ups to do with firewall or anything, just click OK, that, that's fine. Um, it does take a little while, so I'll just come back to you as soon as that's finished loading. Okay, so that is now loaded. So what you need to do now is you need to make yourself the owner of your server. So what you need to do is by typing owner ID and then space and then you need to put in your steam 64 ID so there's a couple of ways to do this so one is go into steam um, click on your profile and it will be this number here um, if for some reason that's not showing for you or whatever you can copy this link to your profile and then go to a website, which I'll put a link in the description down below of steam steamid.io. And you just paste your link to your, to your profile in there, click look up, and then your Steam64 ID is this number here. Or you can click copy to clipboard. So if I click that, I go back into the server and use control V and that pastes my Steam64 ID in there, and then I just click enter. That has made me now the owner of this server. If you have friends that are gonna to wanna to play on it and you want to give them admin rights for building purposes or whatever, you can do that without making them the owners. You can make them moderators. And to do that, you type moderator ID, and then what you do is you paste their Steam64 ID next to that click enter and then they'll have admin rights um, after you've done that make sure you type right cfg oh sorry cfg if you don't do that it won't be saved so then the next time you load it up or whatever it won't work so after we've done that what we can do is we can go ahead make sure you leave this window open obviously because that is your server um, we can go ahead and load up Rust. Okay, once Rust is loaded, what you want to do then is connect to your server. So to do that, you want to press F1 to bring up the console. And what you want to do is type client.connect space localhost colon which is the two dots um, 28015 which was the port number that we left in the file earlier and uh, hit enter and then you can press F1 again to remove the console and then we'll just let this load into the server Okay, so as you can see, I've now just loaded into my own server that is hosted on my PC. Um, just run through a couple of things for you that you might want to know when you run in your own server. So first off is how do you get yourself items? So if you press F1 and go back into the console, you can click the items tab at the top, left hand corner, items. And as you can see, you can get yourself weapons, um, ammunition um, it's got every item in the game pretty much in there so give yourself some food clothes it's all in there um, resources if you want large stacks of resources if you just click on the picture it will give you one of that item but you can also click on the hundred which will give you 100 of the item and the same with the 1k click on 1k and you will get 1,000 of the item. There we go, 1,000, 1,000. Um, also, there is a few binds that you can do, and and we'll start off with the time of day because it is getting dark now. So the first one would be you press F1, click console in the top left-hand corner, and type 
env dot time environment time and then it's on the 24 hour clock so if I want to do midday I can just do 12 and there you go it changes the server to 12 p.m. in the afternoon same I can go at night time if I wanted so I'd type the same again environment time I could do 22 which would be 10 p.m. and there you go there you have it it's pitch black so that is changing the time on your server um, next up if you want to be able to fly around no clip through walls and rocks and things like that um, you need to bind it to a key is probably the easiest option so what you do is you type bind I've selected the letter P and then you type no clip hit enter now what happens now is I press P I can then fly I can go through rocks I can actually go underneath the environment um, yeah, it's just a good tool to have as an admin obviously if you're running a server and it starts to populate one of the worst things you could probably do to um, get people not to come to your server is admin abuse so things like fly being caught flying around or giving yourself items it's probably the worst thing you can do so don't do that um, but if you're using it as a build server then crack on go wild um, next up what you want to do is um, we're going to be able to go outside of your body so if you go back into the console and type bind O because we're going to use the key O on our keyboard and what we're going to type after that is a space and then debug camera debug camera and what this will let us do is I come out of the console now when I press O as you can see now I have now the cameras come out of my body and I can actually fly around as just a camera uh, but my actual character's body is still just as where he is so and then to go back into my body I just press O again and I'm back as I am um, next up there is one other thing that I think is very handy especially if you're gonna make a build server so if, for example if I just give myself um, building plan um, tool and a hammer there we go give myself some resources and you build in a way you build in your base and put something in the wrong place what you can then do is if we go into the console uh, uh, click console and then type bind and I'm going to use the letter I on my keyboard I and then we type ENT entity kill ENT space kill press enter come out of the console now what happens is if I look at an item a wall it could be um, I don't know it could be a box it can be anything and then I press I it will actually destroy it um, I think that is everything you need to know to start your own build server or start your own server to try and get people to play on it um, totally up to you whatever you feel like you want to do with your own server so um, yeah I hope that helped guys and I will um, catch you guys later